Oh, would you look at what I found? It's a caterpillar. A pretty giant caterpillar. Let's see. It's, um, I'd say three inches long and a good three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, you know, I'd hate to say this, but, um, there's only one reason why a caterpillar would get this big. And that would be because it's a host to the larva of, paras of a parasitic wasp. Yeah, like, um, there's a wasp species. It finds these caterpillars when they're normal sized, and then it lays its eggs inside of them. And what the larvae do is they basically reprogram the caterpillar so that it never enters the pupa state. It just keeps on eating and growing. And uh, eventually, the wasp larva inside the caterpillar's body get big enough that they just kind of burst out through its skin and fly away as adult larva. Adult wasps, that is. It's uh, rather unfortunate. But that's the only reason why a caterpillar would be this big. Poor thing. So, um, I went around the neighborhood walking the dog and I come back and I find him here just for reference. Yeah. It's not moving much anymore, so... I'm pretty sure it's nearing the end of its life. That's probably why it was crawling on the ground. I'm guessing that within the next day or so, those wasp larvae are probably going to burst out of it. Real nasty business. Nature can be cruel. This poor caterpillar will never know what it's like to be a butterfly. Isn't that kind of sad?